Okay, this reading is for Pisces. Pisces, this is your love reading for November. It's general, all right, and it's for sun, moon, and rising. Not everything is going to resonate with everyone because it's general. If I resonate with you and you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box. It's by donation only, and a donation is not required. That means you don't have to lie to me about making a payment. I don't give a shit. It's for free. If you would like to donate, that's up to you. There's no reason to lie and make excuses. I've had my feel with it. Also, it is through PayPal. So, uh, you do not have to lie to me about not having a PayPal account. You can pay uh, through other means. You don't have to have a PayPal account, okay? Um, if you would like a personal reading, then please include what you would like the reading over Pisces, um, what area you would like it in, and what questions you may have. If you would um, please also include how you would like the reading. Would you like it in a video? Would you like it in a video chat? Or would you like it uh, over the phone? Okay. Um, this is, this is for you, not for me. So I want you to get the most out of it and I need you to help me help you. All right, let's cut down on the time. Cause again, it's free. If you choose to donate, that's on you, but I'm not requiring it. All right. The reason I mentioned all this shit about lies and, and keep repeating myself is because I've had a lot of people, um, uh, well, I'm going to donate on this day or I keep trying to donate, but my PayPal account is not working. And look, man, don't come to me with the bullshit. That's not why I'm here. That's why I'm not I'm interested. I'm not interested in that. I'm here to help you. All right. Um, what what's happening whenever you lie and do this shit is you're you're putting a hiccup and a block in your own growth, not mine. OK, um, when you're not honest with me, how honest are you with yourself? OK, this is where I'm at. So just cut the bullshit. The links are in the description box if you want to hit me up for a reading. And if you want to donate, that link is also in the description box. So Pisces love for the month of November. Let's get to it. Okay, we're going to leave that flipped out. Uh, Knight of Cups, all right, proposals. It's coming in reverse. So many of you, what I'm getting with this right off, many of you are waiting on a proposal um, and things to pick up in a relationship that you feel is not going to happen or many of you that are single feel like it's just not going to happen, period, okay? Some of you, um, it's almost like it's forced. Some of you have given somebody like an ultimatum like either we're going to take this relationship to the next level or, you know, uh, we're done. And that proposal that you received was bullshit. It wasn't on the up and up and you know it. You feel it in your heart. Ooh, Pisces, your energy is coming through a little bit strong. Hold on. Mm. They got me tense over here. All up in my shoulders and shit. Let me take a drink. Okay, and then you get the two of cups, partnership. So it's interesting, the first card that comes out is the knight of cups. It comes in reverse, which is a proposal um, that's not on the up and up or a proposal that you think is never going to happen. For the ones that, the, that have given up on this proposal happening, you've given up on some true love coming and making you an offer, don't. Don't give up because the next card that comes out is the two of cups partnership. This is not just any partnership. This is a divine partnership. This is a soulmate, soul, uh, mirror soul type of connection. This is a divinely guided union. All right. So do not give up. Be optimistic. Stay in that look and bam, right after that, you get the ace of cups, new love. Okay. New opportunity in all areas. So do not give up. This is so, this is very very reassuring okay then you get justice coming out all right this is the card for libra so some of you might be, be dealing with the libra but it is coming in reverse so there's some imbalance going on with some of you and for some of you that may simply be this uh, sort of pessimistic attitude you have going on towards this union like it's never going to come and for some of you um, the, the ultimatum that you have given has sort of, um, because you want it to look this certain way, you want, like, I want a ring on my finger or I'm fucking leaving type of deal. Um, you push someone into making this proposal to you and this is where it comes out of balance. There's still some secrets and some, some things, 
um, that have not been justified, all right? Also, some of you may be dealing with some legal matters that may not be going either as quickly as expected or may not be going in your favor, okay? There, uh, card for Aries comes out, all right? The king of the ocean in order, all right? So uh, this is someone very balanced. This is someone um, running shit and, and usually... Uh, Someone that knows what they want, okay? Someone that knows what they want and may not be as passionate as you would like them to be. It's not that they're not passionate. It's just that they're a little bit more balanced. They're not as um, raw with their emotions. They're a little bit more um, mature in the way they handle things. Nine of Wands coming out. Um... So there is some defense going on. So that's, that's right back to this. You, you thinking that this love offer is never coming and you're, 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 you've got this wall up. All right. So it can't come as long as you are not allowing it to come. Also, for the ones that have given the ultimatum, um, this is like the same thing. You have this wall up, so you're you're forcing someone. It's not that they didn't love you. It's not that they weren't going to put a ring on your finger at some point. But it's like you forced a situation and now they're kind of like, well, I don't know. You know, it's very, it's it's imbalanced, okay? But that's not to say that you cannot smooth it out and, and bring balance back to the situation because you absolutely can. And someone here is a very balanced person, possibly both of you. But there's a very balanced, very um, stable energy here. So um, I feel like so far the people that I'm speaking to are very mature. All right. And we got cups, cups, and cups coming out. So, you know, obviously, you know, we're dealing with water, Pisces. Okay. So love for Pisces for the month of November. for Pisces for the month of November. Okay, healing family issues, okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, I say this all the time. This is not just parents. This is any parental figure or um, authority figure. Anyone that you've looked up to over time, but I take it even further than that. This is any family issues you've had at all, okay? So some of you may have this idea of this perfect relationship stemming from what your parents either did or did not offer you, okay? So some of this may be this, this demanding, this ultimatum, may be coming, stemming from a, um, like an overcompensation, okay? But whenever you release this, when you forgive these people, when you forgive these family members for either um, pushing beliefs on you or not giving you what you believed was such um, a stable way or, or, or hurting you in some way, they've left you with blockages. This is whenever um, you really, really start to come in balance, okay? Because you do have new love coming. Don't don't forget that you have new love coming and not just any love. This is the real thing. This is this is a real soulmate connection here. This is a divinely guided connection. That two of cups coming up upright, um, right before the the love. So I mean this is this is very, very beautiful if you want it. If you're able to receive it, okay? But understand that free will is exactly that. So if you're out of balance it's easy to miss an opportunity. Doesn't mean it won't come back around. If it's meant to be, it will be no matter what. But um, it could be much smoother than it is. You have this wall up. You have this wall up and it's going to require some healing. Okay? All right, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. 
okay again that's right back to that you're thinking that it's not going to come you're thinking this proposal either isn't going to come or you've made an ultimatum for somebody and and this is this is no good whenever you are fully in the moment whenever you're fully enjoying every moment for what it is and not trying to make it something that it's not or plan or or control every little piece of how it should look you attract true romantic love okay honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together okay so many of you are coming up on some vacation or something like that enjoy it enjoy it in the moment don't try to be too um hmm. I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say. Don't try to control every little piece of it. You know what I mean? Just enjoy it for what it is in the moments that there are. Okay. And then for separation, I was going to say, I'm feeling for some of you, I'm feeling some separation coming and then out pops separation. Time apart from your par partner is on the horizon. Now, the reason I was feeling that is because something is going to happen Pisces, for some of you, something is going to happen. There's going to be an event or some sort of form of a, a holiday or like this this um, leisure activity or time spent somehow. And something's going to happen. Somebody's going to fuck up, all right? Somebody's going to do some shit that they shouldn't have done or shouldn't be doing, okay? I don't know if this is going to involve, um, you know, cheating or drugs or I don't know because everybody's agreement is different, but something is gonna happen that goes against the agreement, you and your partner, or you and your friend, or whoever is going to be involved in this, something, somebody is going to make a decision that is going to hurt you, okay? And it's going to be followed by separation and time apart, okay? All right, now, this is going to require some healing afterwards whether you decide to stay with this person or part ways um this is this is your choice okay and this is unique to everyone's situation no one can tell you what's right for you but the, i'm getting strongly that the ones who have made this this ultimatum this either you're going to put a ring on my fam on my, on my finger and see and i say family so i'm there's something to do with family here Someone is not interacting with someone's family the way they should. I'm not sure what family keeps wanting to come out of my mouth, even though I'm trying to talk about this ultimatum. So um, there's something overlapping with the energies there with the family. But there's been an ultimatum made, like either you're going to put a ring on my finger, we're going to take this relationship to the next level, or I'm fucking out of here. Okay, so what happened? They put a ring on your finger, or, you know, I'm not talking about a literal ring, but, but they agreed to take the relationship to the next level. But it was in a pinch. It was like they were forced to do it because they do love you. They didn't want to lose you, so they did this right but it wasn't on the up and up they really weren't ready it's not that they that, that they wouldn't have been ready at one time it just happened a little bit early all right it caused some some little bit of um uh resentment and and like a little freak out like they're a little bit scared of what they put themselves in because they were not quite ready for the situation to begin with now something's going to happen on this vacation this party this this thing this activity this time that you have together and it's going to cause separation okay that is for a number of you mm, that shit came through strong okay so let's pull some more cards on that we'll pull a few more cards out of this deck and we'll go on So the eight of wands is coming out travel all right but this is also about communication and it's a fast moving energy okay um there's a breakdown in communication or there's a pause in communication somewhere here okay some of you not wanting to travel or some of you up in the air about travel and it's coming over this family so however that may resonate with you all right the star coming aquarius the card for aquarius coming in 
um, and hope. So don't lose hope because there's hope in this situation. No matter what happens, understand that there is true love on the table. And there is true love coming in. And there is divinely guided unions coming in for you, Pisces. So understand, whatever happens, do not lose hope. If you're one of the ones that is um, just giving up on this true love proposal coming, don't. There's hope, all right? If you're one of the ones that is about to go through this bad situation where there's going to be some separation, don't lose hope. Okay, it may not work out the way you thought it was going to work out, but understand that either this person is your uh, soulmate and mirror soul, this person is your true love, or this person and journey will lead you to the soulmate and the true love, the mirror soul. Okay, so don't lose hope. All right, Eight of Swords coming out in reverse. All right, there's some veils being lifted now. A lot of people are getting this, and in reverse, there are veils being lifted left and right. The truth is coming, baby. Let me tell you, we're in the month of Scorpio, uh, we're in the sign of Scorpio, and that's what Scorpio is about stripping those layers back. I mean, nobody can get down to the bottom of shit like a Scorpio. All right, and this is the energy that we're in. The veils are being lifted, and you're being yanked up out of this self imprisonment that you have. You have been here for whatever reason you know everyone has their own shit but you're not in prison you're not bound and you're not blind honey and and it's all coming to surface Whew, okay let's pull a couple more Pisces love for the month of November. I'm getting two and three now. I don't know. So two and three, if those numbers have any significance. I'm getting strongly two and three. All right, runes, perception, all right, perception. So it's important to um, consider perception. How are you perceiving the situation, all right? And seeker, seeker, dousing rods, don't stop seeking, okay? Especially the ones that have given up on the, on the love offer coming um, it, it's, it, there are some of you that it's causing to like, well, fuck it. I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna look for anybody. I'm just, you know, whatever. It's not coming. Don't, don't do that. Continue to seek. All right. Guidance, tarot coming out. Okay. So you, that that's why I keep talking about that divinely guided union. It is coming. So don't stop seeking. It's all in how you're perceiving the situation and situations to come. I'm telling you, there's some shit coming, Pisces. Um, that will probably come out a little bit more um, clear as that situation arises uh, when we do mid-month or maybe even December. Um, but it's all in how you are perceiving what is going on and what is happening to you. Don't lose sight of that new love coming. All right? Don't ignore the guidance that you're being given and will be given to come. And also... Don't stop seeking. And remember, don't lose hope. Okay. Dowsing rods also um, lead to water, if I'm not mistaken. So this is... Water is symbolic of spirituality and um, cleansing. Okay. So... Remember that, and however that may resonate with you, I'm being guided to say that. Frog, adapt and survive by accepting the inevitable and seizing potential. Adapt and survive by accepting the inevitable and seizing the potential.
wolf. And Pisces, this is you. Pisces, in the Native American uh, zodiac, you're the wolf. Okay? Listen to your inner wisdom and enjoy the gift of freedom. That's what I'm telling you. For some of you, that, that separation, you need to be able to adapt and survive by accepting what's been inevitable because you gave an ultimate, because you knew that this situation was not um, where you wanted it to be when you, when you sort of forced this person into this choice. Okay? And it's not that they didn't love you, and it's not that they still don't love you, and it's not that y'all still won't be together. But whatever has happened, the way it has gone down a little bit too quick, whatever's about to go down at this holiday or this honeymoon, this event, that is going to cause this separation, all right? Accept it. It was inevitable. It's going to happen. Seize the potential of it. Seize the potential of the separation. Work on you. Work on some things. Get some shit done. However, you know, grow. Seize the potential in it, however that may resonate with you and listen to your inner wisdom listen to this guidance and enjoy your gift of freedom okay all right that's what i have for you pisces i love you and i'll see you next time